feeling the chill in the air this morning. It is feeling more like fall, so I do suggest anyone heading out the door early this morning uh, to grab the extra layers. You will certainly need it. Uh, but you can definitely give your air conditioning a break as we head into the afternoon. Maybe open up those windows because we're going to be talking about temperatures below normal. This is where we should be temperature-wise. For our morning low, we should be around 58 degrees. And believe it or not, some spots are waking up to the upper 40s and the lower 50s out there. So looking at temperatures across the viewing area, kind of all over the place, lower 50s up towards the Mason-Dixon line to the lower 60s down by Annapolis. And temperatures will steadily rise back into the mid 60s by lunchtime. And we're only going to be hitting the lower 70s by 2, 3, and 4 o'clock today. Uh, looking at future casts, mainly clear skies, not really a lot to talk about uh, as we head into the afternoon or evening. We look to keep the weather pattern on the quiet side today. But just like yesterday, uh, some of the sunshine that we see today will uh, be kind of filtered because some of the smoke from the wildfires out west uh, could continue to obscure our view of the bright skies to some extent today. So unfortunately, we are looking at some filtered sunshine today and even for your Wednesday. But the traffics are very crowded, very active. I mean, looking at how many disturbances you can see on your screen right there, one, two, three, four, five, six disturbances that we are keeping track of right now. And we only have one more name left on the Atlantic Basin Hurricane names, Wilfred. That is the last name on the list for this season. And if we do, in fact, uh, deal with additional disturbances forming, uh, we'll have to switch over to the Greek alphabet, which hasn't been done since 2000. Right now, we are looking at Hurricane Sally, Category 1 hurricane right now with sustained winds at 90 miles per hour, still located just off the Gulf Coast as of right now. And the system is slowly weakening a little bit. Uh, it will continue to weaken as it makes landfall uh, later on today or early Wednesday morning. The timing uh, of when the center of that system will move over land is a little bit uncertain. But looking at uh, the tropical storm warnings, watches and flood warnings currently underway for parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Florida and Louisiana. And we'll start to see the storm continue to hook off to the north and east as we head into the next few days and the bulk of the rain should be to our south, but I wouldn't be surprised if we actually saw uh, some rain showers mainly around southern Maryland and southern parts of the eastern shores. We head into Friday and we are looking much cooler and drier as we head into next weekend. Now over to Lauren with traffic.